We lost our jobs today. Yes. We, we're not working because we want to. We're working because we have to. And we think it's all right. Sometimes God will slow you down so you can see how you really live. Remember back in the, in the 90s, they said, how you living? Sometimes you'll see how you're really living. You think you're living large, but you're really living quite small. So low beneath the standard that God has set. Yes. There's more. Amen? Amen. Fifthly. Have a unique path and journey that keeps us from comparing ourselves with others. My circumstances may not be your circumstances. Maybe you've never lost a daughter. Maybe you've been divorced. I haven't been divorced. We each have a unique path that we have to go upon and we have to follow the Lord. That keeps us from comparing ourselves with one another yes. because it is unique. I don't sit up at night wondering why I didn't get cancer and she got it. Amen. I want to learn from her circumstance so when trials come in my life, I can stand in faith like she stood in faith. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. James chapter 4. Verses 7 through 10. We begin, we're giving you quite a bit of word here because it's the word that runs the enemy away. Amen? Amen. And I'm getting ready to, we're getting ready to wrap it up. As it says, submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And the message Bible says, so let God work his will in you. Yell aloud, no to the devil. And watch him scamper. Say a quiet yes to God. And he'll be there in no time. Quit dabbling in sin. Purify your inner life. What's your inner life? That part of you that no one else sees. You see, you can get the outward fixed, but if the inward's not right, the outward won't matter. Quit playing the field. Hit bottom and cry out your eyes to God. The fun and game's over. Get serious, real serious. Get down on your knees before the master. It's the only way you'll get on your feet. And we describe this one, the four points out of this. Let God work, resist the devil, go back and say yes to God, and turn away from evil. Amen? Amen. Now we'll deal with this next week. We'll deal with the, the four things that God does when we go through trials. Because I feel like we've, we've hit quite a bit today. Amen? Amen. Have, did he get something out of this today? Yeah. Huh? Did he get something out of you? Understand that God's taking you through a process because he's trying to get you. Uh, to a, a new destination in Him. Yes. So this whole life that we're on, the trial, that just is just a journey. It's not an endless journey. It's a journey that God's trying to take you from point A to point B, ultimately to eternity, yes. to get you ready for Him. Yes. In the midst of the process, He's trying to make you more like Him. He's trying to give you more self-control, more, more long-suffering, more peace, more grace, more faith. More love, all in the midst of everything that you're going through. How many know it's easy to walk in faith when everything's going right? Amen. Amen. How many it's easy to be loving when everything's going right? Amen. How many know it's easy to be kind when everything's going right? Amen. But let a trial come. Come on. You'll see the real you. Yes. And literally, you have to depend on God and say, Lord, help me to be the person of God that you've ordained me to be. Yes. That's where we are, church. That's where you are. Yes. He hasn't left you. He hasn't forsaken you. He's just waiting for you. Yes. To cry out to him. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet, everybody. Amen. Father, right now, God, we come to you, Father. We make an altar right where we are. We say in ourselves, we can't do it, God. We need your grace. We need your mercy. And we need your strength. So right now, right, right now, Lord, we say, God, meet us. Now, if you hear me say, Pastor, that's me. I need, you. I need God in a real way. Don't even worry about who's beside you. Just go and raise your hands to him. Raise your hands to him. It's you and God right now. Ask God. Say, Lord. Make yourself real to me. I surrender. I stop fighting. I give up the fight. And I surrender to you. Make me more like you. Change my whole mindset of how I see the circumstance. And give me eyes to see your, eye, to see your presence in my situation. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Now, Father, by that, by the prayer that they've prayed, I pray that you meet them right where they are and give them comfort and give them love. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. You may be seated if you can.